Hey, it's Molly with Just Pause Training and welcome back to Just Pause TV. Today I have a tip, a training tip of the day for you and it's regarding the leash. So we have our little friend here. This is Marley. Marley is a hairy, hairless, Chinese crested mix and he's sporting a fine sweater. It's a little chilly here today. We have a few snowflakes that are dropping. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a few tips on getting um, your dog under control when they're starting to pull you ahead. Um, instead of yanking them back and pulling them off their feet. I want to give you a couple tips of what I have found successful and what I think would be uh, very helpful to you. So um, Marley and I are just in a regular leash and collar. It doesn't matter what harness or what head collar you have on to do this. We're looking for a little break in the leash. We're looking to make sure that it's not in a sled dog thing where he's pulling. I just want him to give me a little break here. So um, I'm going to kind of move up and back. So if he gets, if he pulls, one of two things. I will stop. Good, Marley. Good job. Oh, let's give him a little treat. Good job. And then I'll start again. So I'm going to go this direction, and then we're going to turn around and come back. So come on, Marley. Let's go. Good job. Here we go. Come on. Good job. Oh. Oh. So if I feel like he's getting, the leash is getting too tight and it might hurt his neck, I'm going to stop. Good boy. Give him a little taste. Good job. And I'm gonna turn and actually go the other direction. Look at you. Oh, off. Good, off, off. Good job. So again, that treat might get him a little excited, a little exuberant. So you have to remember, stop, hold still, don't move, don't talk, wait for the behavior that you like. Then you can reward. And if you don't have a treat, just praise him. Good job, Marley. Yes, a good job. All right, we're gonna go again. So here we go, heel. Good. That's exactly what I was looking for. He stopped, turned, looked at me. I'm gonna give him a big piece of liver. And the reward is he gets a treat and we get to keep moving that way. Come on, let's go, heel. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, good boy. So one of the little tips that I tell people is practice stopping and waiting for your dog to look up at you like this. It is well worth the wait. You might have to wait nine minutes or so, but it is well worth the wait because as soon as you get their attention, capture and keep it, reward it, and then move forward. So same thing goes if the dog is dragging behind you. You know, if he were pulling behind and I couldn't get him to move forward and we were struggling, I would just turn back the direction we started. Good job. Here we go. Good boy. Now watch what happens. I give him a little treat. Good job. We're going to go this way now. Come on, with me. Good job. Keeping him on the same side to keep it continuously. Oop, careful cameraman. Good. Good boy. This is worth the wait. So take the time, get out there, get a couple treats, um, go back and forth. You don't feel it, don't feel like you have to go out for like a half an hour walk. If you maybe just go back and forth here for 15, 20 minutes, that is a great walk for your dog. Uh, mental stability, mental stimulation, physical stimulation, and we're just stopping. We're finding places that maybe we can just stop and sniff and have a little wee. Oh, good job. So that is it. That is your tip of the day, a training tip of the day. Don't feel like you have to go out for miles. Just maybe stay on one little strip and go back and forth. And I'm using the word steady when we stop and I want him to stop pulling and look at me and then heal when we move forward. So thank you for tuning in and thank you to Mr. Marley. Say thank you, Mr. Marley, for being our little friend here at Just Pause TV. And we'll see you out there for another training tip.